Hi guys, welcome back to Dubri's Day. Today on Dubri's Day, it's a lovely sunny day outside and I've decided that we need to do some enhancements on the solar. So I'm gonna add a fuse that goes from the charge controller to the battery and I'm also gonna add a watt meter to the solar panel. So let's see what that does. Let's go. Okay, here we are. We have a nice um, watt meter and power analyzer. Um, I picked this up off of Amazon. I think it's like 10, 12 pound, not particularly expensive. The source is coming in from the solar panel and then this will go into the charge controller. I've also picked up a fuse. I've started with a 40 amp fuse at the moment and if need be, I can up that a little bit later. But people um, who saw the solar video commented and said I need to add a fuse into there. So I picked up one of these uh, large fuses let me just show you that um little sorry 30 amp we'll do it's 40 amp little 30 amp so you can set it down here and you can reset it like this so this will go in line to the positive side onto the battery so i'm going to install these two things and do a bit of an enhancement on the solar panel setup i'm also moving my desk around so here's my desk um i've got the charge controller up here if you can remember that from the previous video and i've also got a new bench here which uh you've seen in uh, the other video so we're doing a bit of a, a move around at the moment so let's put the fuse in line first to the battery because the battery has to be connected to the charge controller first then we'll put in the uh, watt meter to see what the actual solar panel is generating let's do that guys okay just have a look at the fuse and um, we've got two plastic covers here one here and one here. You'll just unscrew those. We're going to splice into this main positive cable that comes from the charge controller down to the battery and then connect it into here. Connect the other end up. That will then go down to the battery. Let's do that. There we go. That's the first bit done. Right. So now we have to trim this wire back. I'll just zoom in. There you go. Trim this wire back and we'll put it onto the left hand side of this this fuse so i'll undo this and there's a little red cap on there so that'll protect it like so so put the cable through here and if you can see in there a little screw so we'll just undo that uh, a little grub screw there so we need to get a little um allen key just to undo that there we go the plastic bit goes on first then we connect up the fuse wire Make sure that's nice and tight. And I'll use the Allen key to tighten up onto the wire. Nice and tight. Double check that. There we go, that's lovely and tight. Let's screw this back on. There we go. Let's open that shut. And now we repeat on the other end. So I'll leave that there for the moment. So here we go. This goes into here. Same as before. This is now going to go into here. So undo the grub screw. Put the wire in. And I'm going to tighten up the grub screw, then I'll show you. Like so. So. Let me tighten this up. And this can shift along once I've got that tightened up. Push the grommet up. As best we can, get it in there. I'm going to repeat the grommet on the other side as well, because it is worth having the grommets in there. So, I'm going to leave these two just like this, temporarily. Just a little nut and bolt on there, just so they don't get lost. This is going to go to the inverter like before. I'll just do that. the inverter side done. Let's repeat on the other side. Let's put the 
black side on the inverter, I'll just show you that. Here's the inverter. I'm just going to connect this side up to the inverter. Like so. Nice and tight. That's the inverter side done. Okay, here's what I've done. So now I've got the fuse, I've just connected it onto my desk just so I can easily see what's going on. And I've connected it up to the positive here. I'm now going to connect the negative up and then that should start the MPPT controller up here. And then I'm going to put the watt meter on the other side of the solar coming in. So let me do that next. Okay, we just turned the fuse on, which is now down here. And as you can see, the MPPT controller is now working. Right, next phase. Now we're going to connect up this uh, little watt meter um, into online onto the solar panel. So it'll be like this. And then we're going to connect this up to here. Let's do that next. Okay, really straightforward. If you remember, we had the uh, negative and the positive coming from the solar panel. So just undo these. With these dangerous screwdrivers. And what you can see coming from the what you can see coming from the solar panel is it's 22.14 volts, 6.4 watts coming out of that panel on the roof and 0.31 amp. So this is now going to be in line. I'm now going to connect the positive and negative back up to the MPPT charge controller and we're going to keep an eye on the power that the solar panel, panel is generating. Solar panel is generating. Let's plug that in. Positive goes to positive. Make sure nice big space in there now. They're quite finicky. You have to be bring it right close because it produces a little metal bar that comes out, you have to connect to the metal bar, then it draws the metal bar back in. If we've got it right, we should see the charge controller light come on. Now, if we've got it right, shortly, we should see the solar panel light come on, and yes we do. There is a solar panel light. We can see it's generating power. And we can see that it's generating 19 watts, 19 volts and 19 watts. So the sun must be right on that panel right at the moment. That's brilliant. So we'll leave that in there. I will get some extended wires, sit this up here when I get a bit more time. But for the time being, we've now got that extra device in, in installed into the system. So we can see 12, 20 volts, 19 watts. And it's working brilliantly. So everything's now in, we are now safe. Battery's all working, just double check the inverter. The inverter's working. We now have a safe solar controller. So that's it from uh, today on Dubris Day. I hope you found that useful. Uh, we've put the fuse in, we've put the watt uh, meter in so we can see how much power we're actually generating. Um, any other questions or queries, please let me know. But thank you so much for watching Dubris Day and I'll see you next week. Cheers, bye.